Hello everybody, welcome back to my math channel MathWell. Let's solve question number 4 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. The curve C1 has the equation y equals to x square plus kx minus 9 and the curve C2 has the equation y equals to minus ax square minus 5x plus k. Where k is a constant, Given that C1 and C2 meet at a single point P, show that k square plus 26k plus 169 equals to 0. It is given in the question that C1 and C2 meet at single point. It means there is a point of intersection. To find that point of intersection, we should equate these two equations. We will equate these two equations to find that point of intersection. And also, there is a rule about the discriminant decides if there is a single root, if there are more than one root or there is no root, real root. First of all, we will equate these two equations and uh, we will get the quadratic and then later on we will discuss about the discriminant. For the first part, we will equate both equations, equating both equations. First equation is x square plus kx minus 9, x square plus kx minus 9 is equals to the second equation that is minus 3x square minus 5x plus k. Now we will bring all these three values to left side, you know, it will be positive here, it is minus, so it will be plus here, plus 3x square, this is kx, and then this minus 5x becomes positive on the left side, so it will be positive 5x, and here minus 9 and bring k there, so it will be minus k equals to 0. Now we have this one as a quadratic equation, solve these two like terms together, this is 4 x square plus 3x square is 4x square and uh, x is common between them so we can write as k plus 5 into x and uh, keep the constant number as is now this is a quadratic equation okay and uh, it is given that uh, there is only one point of intersection means there will be one root let me tell you three rules about the discriminant if uh, there is a one real root one real root or repeated root okay root means the values of x okay this is the first rule in that case discriminant equals to 0 and uh, second rule this is the first rule you have to memorize and uh, if there are for two or more real roots two or more real roots it means the discriminant in that case will be greater than 0 okay and the third rule is no real root this one discriminant is less than 0 these are three basic rules okay about the number of roots you have to memorize them okay let me tell you about the discriminant you know if you remember the formula for quadratic formula that is equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac okay divide by 2a Actually, this one b square minus 4ac is the discriminant, okay? For example, if it is equals to 0, you know for sure you will get one real root, okay? For sure you will get one real root of the quadratic. Got it? And uh, for two or more real roots, you know this one should be greater than 0, okay? Mostly for quadratic, uh, we are getting exactly two real roots, but uh, sometimes if it is uh, like x power 4, so in that case you could have more than two real roots even. And if this value, b square minus 4ac is less than 0, you know, it, you will get negative here. So, in that case, we will not have any real roots, okay? We will not have any real roots in that case. So, but here, we are having a single point, means there will be one real root, one value of x, okay? So, we will use this formula. We will use this fact. We can write here, for a single point, single point of intersection, we can write as discriminant equals to 0 and we know that discriminant uh, is b square minus 4ac equals to 0 and here this value is b coefficient of x square is a and the constant number is c okay so substitute the values to uh, get our answer b is here k plus 5 whole square minus 4a a is 4 and c is minus 9 minus k equals to 0. Now expand the square. So it will be k square and plus 
two times of product of these two. Two times five is ten. Multiply k, it will be ten k plus twenty five. Then this minus sixteen multiply minus nine, it will be positive one hundred and forty four. And this one is plus sixteen k equals to zero. Solving the like terms, these two values will be solved together. So you get answer here twenty six k. Solve these two values; they are like terms, so it, the answer will be one hundred sixty nine equals to zero. So we got the result. It is as required. First part is done of this question. Hopefully, you understand it. For next part, hence find the coordinates of P. We need to find the value of value of P. We have this one. Actually, this equation will give you the answer for it. Okay. Uh, from here, you could get the value of x. First of all, you need to plug in the value of k from here. Okay. So for the second part, first get the value of k. and then plug in in this equation you will get the answer for x for sure and then you could get the corresponding value of y by substituting that value of x in one of the above equations like uh, equation for the curve 1 or equation for the curve 2 you can substitute that value of x in one of the equation uh, given in the question first of all for the second part you need to find the value of k for second part we know that this is the complete square of This value is a complete square of k plus 13. You know, it is the square of k is k square, and the product of uh, these two is 13k, and multiply two, you will get 26. And square of the last value is 169 equals to zero. Taking square root of both sides, you know, you get the answer for k plus 13 will be equals to zero. From here, you will get the answer for k. So k will be equals to negative 13. Okay, we got the value for k. Uh, let me go back here. This is equation number one. We can say this is equation number one. We substitute the value of k here. Okay. Uh, put this one. Put in equation number one. Look here. This is negative thirteen. K is negative thirteen. This one is negative thirteen. So this minus thirteen and this uh, minus thirteen make is make it plus plus thirteen. Okay. Plus thirteen minus nine. So solving this one minus thirteen plus five is You know, we uh, we will get the answer now for x square directly. You can write here answer for this one minus thirteen plus five is minus eight x, and uh, this one is minus eight x, and now plus thirteen minus nine is plus four is equals to zero. Now divide by four to simplify this one. You get the result as x square minus two x plus one equals to zero. This is complete square again. It is the complete square of x minus one whole square. You can check again x square and product of these two and multiply two, you get the middle number and square of the last value is one. So for sure, it is x minus one whole square. Taking square root of both sides implies that you will get rid of the square by taking square root of both sides. You can write directly as equals to zero and value of x equals to one. Now we got the value of x. This is the x coordinate of point P. Actually, we want to find this point, single point where the single point P. Okay, so we got the x coordinate of P. Now you need to get the y coordinate of P. If you substitute one of the equation of y, like here or there, it is your choice. You can substitute the value of k and value of x here. Let me write that equation again. Y equals to x x square plus k x minus nine. This is the equation of the curve one. Substitute the value of k as negative thirteen and value of x as one in this equation. You will get the y coordinate of point P. So x is one square minus thirteen into one minus nine. Solve it. We will get the y coordinate of point P. Minus thirteen minus nine is minus twenty two. Minus twenty two plus one is minus twenty one. Therefore, the coordinates of P will be equals to one and negative twenty-one. So these are the coordinates of P. And question number four is done. If you have any question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.